Not such a hard day at work for two of Australia's Olympic athletes. But it's not all this easy. The spa pool is followed by an ice cold shower, all part of a training and recovery regime aimed at keeping their bodies in peak condition. Here at the Australian Institute of Sport, the country's elite training campus for Olympians, going for gold is a highly technical process. The campus here in particular in Canberra has got uh, probably one of the most highly integrated training environments including all of the science disciplines coupled with our coaches that are experts in their fields. The Institute's new recovery centre is just one facility in its arsenal of medal winning weapons. Down the road another Olympic hopeful is doing time in a specially designed altitude house. The air in here has a decreased oxygen content and simulates altitudes of up to 3,500 metres. Spending time in the house can help the athletes become more competitive by boosting their red blood cells. 1,500 metre runner Michael Roger will spend three and a half weeks at altitude for 14 hours each day. The results I've had the last three years doing altitude training, especially in the altitude house with the protocol um, train high, live high, train low has really worked for me. In another corner of the institute, Aussie cyclists have recreated their own slice of London. The cycling team used cameras to film the Olympic road track. This data was then punched into a simulator that mimics the ups and downs of the actual route. It's a psychological help for the Olympic athletes, as one of their support team demonstrates. It helps me to familiarise myself with the more taxing parts of the course and what I need to save myself for. It's just that fine little edge and maybe it's the difference between fourth and third, maybe the difference between second and gold. And gold is the colour that Australia's athletes will all be riding after at the London Games.